and as you may know, we will be partially reopening the youth zone from Monday the 20th for small groups on Holiday Club. We are really looking forward to seeing everyone, but there have been a few changes in order to keep everyone safe. So I'll now hand you over to Jo so she can let your parents and carers know about how to book. Hi, um, you're glad to know we're going to start taking Holiday Club bookings from Monday the 13th of July at 9 o'clock. Our phone lines will be open and there will be a team of us taking calls. Um, unfortunately, we are limited to just 25 spaces per day, so as you can imagine, demand will be high. We will take the calls um, as quickly as we can um, but, and we will take them in order as they come in. Um, the earliest you can book in to Holiday Club is for 8.30 in the morning and we're going to have a designated time when you can arrive. So we can talk about that when you come through and, and book. Um, we will be able to take uh, card payments. If you do need to pay by cash, arrangements can be made. I'm going to pass you over to Claire now, who's going to talk about the processes from there on. Look forward to speak to you on Monday. Bye. Hiya. Are you here for Holiday Club? Brilliant. Right, there's going to be a few little changes I need to tell you about before you come in. The first thing you're going to notice is we're not going in through the main entrance. We're now going to come in from this entrance. Follow me. Okay, so here's where you'll be signing in. So I'll take your name and then I'm going to take your temperature check just to make sure you're feeling okay. And then you're going to join your very own pod. You'll be in your own little pod with your own special youth worker. And this is where we sort that out. As soon as you've been assigned your pod, that's when we go to the next place. Okay, follow me. So now is where you're going to see some really weird changes. But don't worry, it's nothing scary, nothing to worry about. So, you'll see lots of markings on the floor. And this is our brand new one-way system. Okay, so this is where we come next. I'm going to ask you to do something really boring, which everyone's getting fed up of. But we're going to have to wash our hands. Follow me. Making sure that we stay on the right way. So it's this way. One way system, this way. So we're back here. Next thing we need to do is sanitize our hands. Done, thumbs up, let's go. Bye mum, bye dad, bye carers. Are you still following the one-way system? Okay, you'll notice that the rack looks a little bit bare. There's only a few tables here. Where's the pool table? Where's the table tennis? Well, unfortunately, we've had to put them away for a little bit. But don't worry, there's still loads to do. Now, if you're like me, you like your grub. Don't worry about that. You've got your very own waiter service. We will be bringing your lunch to you in your room. I think that's everything I need to tell you. I'm going to hand you over to Bex now. Bex! Okay, so once you're in your pod, you'll be brought through to a room with your youth worker. That's where you'll do three activities in the morning, three activities in the afternoon if you're in all day. Um, you'll have all the equipment for them activities. Um, you'll be staying safe within that pod. You don't mix between pods. Um, and that's all the information you're going to need. Thanks to the team for explaining all of that, but just for a quick recap, you will have to pre-book. There'll be staggered drop-off and pick-up times. There will be lots of hand washing, sanitising and cleaning. There will be five young people in a pod with one youth worker and you will do three activities in three different areas of the youth zone in the morning and the afternoon and we will be socially distancing at all times. Like I say, there are lots of changes, but we hope you understand that is to keep you all safe and we guarantee that we will make it as fun as possible.